like you said, today's the day. Today's the day. Yeah. Do you feel ready? Yeah. I did my homework. You did your homework. Yeah. You learn from you. You had a lot of like this is not a trilogy. This is quadrilogy or something. Yeah. 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 Quad? We have a long history. <laughs> yeah. I've been mean, over ten years now. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, you you know pretty much a lot of things about her, her arm wrestling, but she knows as much about you. Really? I think so. Right. Yeah. You have same amount of information coming back. Yeah. And forth. Yeah. I guess so. I mean, she has been more active than me. You know, yeah. so there's more footage of her arm wrestling at competitions, oh, yeah, you know, um, but she's so well-rounded, you know, I, I can't sleep on her for one bit, <laughs> you know, I, I got to, I got to hit hard and fast. Without giving like any of your game plan away, um, will you change something from the previous things that you have tried? Yeah. 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 I have some new tools that I'm going to try. Okay. Um, I worked my wrist now for a long time, um, so hopefully, um, I mean that, that that's arm wrestling, right? Like the the wrist. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. Just <laughs> take it away from her. Yeah. You know. You're gonna take the wrist. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's uh, you know facing someone so many times. Uh, do you see any other challenges beside that or this is like the main goal has been Gabby since you lost to her pretty much yeah I mean it's been kind of a an obsession um, I took it so personal my loss and the injury of like it, it broke me um, physically obviously the surgery and everything and mentally um, but like looking back uh, at that match too um, I wasn't really ready like I wasn't at my best I had been off or you know away from arm wrestling for so long at that time and when I got the you know I had I had practiced for fun with with my team in Florida uh, but it wasn't serious at all I was living a completely different life I was focusing more on you know family and business at the time and training was secondary it wasn't first at all mm -hmm. um, and then I got the opportunity to pull her at WAL and that was so exciting at the time uh, because I like I said it's been so like mediocre my life was so mediocre um, so that was something like oh shit like there's something I get to do for myself now after so many years and um, I, I obviously pushed as hard as I could for the, the few weeks I had to prep and I felt at the time um, I was the strongest I could be uh, but it was nowhere near my full potential so this time around I had two years two and a half years but minus nine months or so because of the injury yeah. but I never stopped training the day after surgery actually the day after the event with a broken arm, or you know, a torn shoulder, I would say, but the arm was broken. I was it was detached from my body basically. I went to the gym the very next day and trained my left arm. So I trained my left arm every day um, until my right arm was healed enough for me to start training that. So I believe whatever I did in the meantime later on translated to my right arm. You know, mm -hmm. I, I kept my nervous system active and stuff. So once I was healed, I could just go full force. Gabby said that she didn't know that you got injured yeah. in the match. Yeah. Did you know that? Well, in the first match, we slipped and then the straps, and I remember going inside. Here's a fun fact. I never watched the video. Mm. I never went back and watched the video. Um, I get sick to my stomach just thinking about it. Mm. <laughs> um, so it's just like from my memory. But I remember like attacking from the inside, and she catched me, and it was... <laughs> Mm. I heard it and I felt yeah. it. It was like fabric, like rip, yeah, ripping, yeah, 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 yeah. you know. Yeah. So I knew something was wrong. I thought it was my peck. And I remember going back to my corner person and I said, hey, something happened to my peck. Yeah, yeah. And I remember feeling it. And I sat like this and I, I felt it and it, nothing felt weird or anything. I, there was no pain, but it, I just felt like something was off. 
and at that time I, I knew I had lost uh, because in the very next match my, my corner person said try to try to go outside mm -hmm. and you know and I, I tried and I tried and it didn't matter how much I wanted it it wasn't there like mm -hmm. it was detached and later on we found out uh, it was my subscapularis, the rotator cuff that goes sideways, was 100% torn off the bone. Um, and I kept pulling all the matches with this. So what was it, best of five or whatever? I kept pulling five matches with an injured arm. Uh, so it just... Yeah, because yeah. I remember I watched it, I was watching it live and I saw it happen and I was like, oh no, she got injured. Oh really? Yeah. You, you could tell? Yeah, athletes don't... You know, yeah. they, they, they will not touch the body part, yeah. pretty much never. Yeah. They will, you know, if you're ready, you're ready, you know, you're full, you need some mm -hmm. massage, but they will never, yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. they're hostels. Yeah. Plus your, your whole, like after the second round, your whole body language changed. Yeah, you can see Yeah, that, you know. I, I, I knew yeah. it was, I was It's dumb. always sad, but that's sport. That is the sport. Exactly. I mean, yeah. I don't blame Gabby for it at all. Like, yeah. uh, I, it was on my terms. I, I took the match. You know, she won fair and square. Yeah. Like it, uh, she one hundred percent deserve it. You know, it's just, I, I should have prepared better. I should have known better. Maybe I needed more time. You know, um, but it is what it is. I, I believe everything happens for a reason. Yeah, we're yeah. over that. Yeah. <laughs> we're over that. Let's move to the next yeah. one. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. right. So, a uh, little off topic from this, but how long have you been in the sport of arm wrestling? Well, I started in 2006, so 16 years. 16 years. But I was off like completely two years, no arm wrestling whatsoever, uh, 2013 and 2014. Um, and then I started to, no, 2014, 2015 was two years. I did not arm wrestle whatsoever. Then I started again in 2016 here and there, twice a month maybe, um, no specific gym training. I did CrossFit actually for years. So like for four years or so I did CrossFit. Every day though, mm -hmm. uh, but now for two and a half years, only arm wrestling, so. You're, you're like most arm wrestlers that I know are obsessed, you're obsessed. It's like uh, arm wrestling is like itch you cannot get rid of, you know, mm -hmm. it's still there. Mm -hmm. um, we finish uh, Book of Gabby. What would be the next one? Um, to be honest with you, I haven't thought of mm. after today. Like it's it's all about this match. I don't know what's gonna happen. Like it's it's if I lose this, I don't know what I will do. If I win this, I don't know what I will do either. <laughs> Like that's how hard focus it is on just this particular match. Yeah. Um, so I guess ask me again tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> both of you are in that race to be the number one female armist on the planet. You know, yeah. to have that eleven status, pretty much. Uh, there are a few other girls, of course, in conversation, and I guess uh, you know, the, it's it's hard to get competition for like. It's, it's not like one of you loses and suddenly you drop 20 levels. Mm -hmm. you're, you're still there with five girls mm -hmm. at the top, mm -hmm. you know, who can give you a good match. Yeah. Um, you were in East versus West 1, uh, we met in Turkey. Uh, you were not very happy with your performance. Uh, how that changed you, that match, how it gave you perspective, you know, just you know, give us some information there. Yeah, so... The, it was very refreshing to pull internationally again, you know, because in America it's not that much of a challenge or big events and whatever. So it was very refreshing to go overseas and pull a high level elite puller. Um, it really made me understand, like, all right, yeah, I mean, I won that match, but it wasn't as clean as I would have hoped. Um, my prep for it, I got all pumped, and like, there's some fine tunes that I kind of overlooked that I'm I have bettered for this time around um, it was super necessary for me to have that match to get ready for this one it, basically because Irina is the second girl after Gabby you know so I feel like beating Irina qualifies me for this match you know it tells me that all right I am I am there I am 
I, you can I, pick it up the Thor hammer. You're right, worthy. Right. I'm worthy. Yeah. I'm worthy to have this match and that's very com like comforting to 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 know. Being on the stage harnessing her uh how did your arm felt? Any pain, any no, I did not have any pain with the arena or anything, but I got so pumped. Like, you know, when your forearm is like yeah. puffs up yeah. and you, you're you unable to give any yeah. pressure. And at that point, adrenaline. That's adrenaline. yeah, like all I could fight with was literally with my head. I, I, I couldn't, the, the, I didn't have any strength. I could just hold it and tire her out. I could not g give anything. Yeah. So literally like looking back at the matches too, that's exactly what I did. I just, I had to tire her out in order to take the win. I could not attack at all. I had n nothing to give at, at the go or anything. I could just like hold on and hope for the best. And Do you think that was uh, more table endurance or it was more mental? Because when adrenaline kicks in, you know, you, your body just gets over overcharged yeah. and you just go crazy. Yeah, it was definitely adrenaline. Because yeah. I, I I train endurance a lot. Um, that's one of my strengths on the table. Yeah. Um, I can arm wrestle for hours. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it was I was a lot in my head at the time. Mm. So do you think you can deal with it better? Make yes. yourself a little more calm. Yep. I mean deep breaths. Yeah. I mean, I. It's such a soothing feeling this time because I feel like I come in as the underdog. You know, everybody expect Gabby to win after last time. So if she wins, all right, fair enough. Like she, she beat me the last two times, you know, what's the third time, you know? So I feel like if I win or lose, it's like you said, I'm still in the top, I think, but I may not be the best. Uh, but with that being said, I, I'll, I'll push. I know. I push. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. uh, uh, you're, I said like there's so much similarities talking with you with Gabby you're both crazy in the best sense of the word um, what keeps you motivated uh, what keeps me motivated is just this childhood dream of being the best I don't know what it was when I started arm wrestling I think arm wrestling is the coolest sport I, I admire arm wrestlers I think if something fascinates me with it I don't know what it is I just want to be the best at it it's just this drive I've had since I was 14 years old I'm so close now you know so it's mm, 16 years <laughs> coming because you could try a lot of different sports mm, I, I wouldn't say a bunch of pretty much I, I you, you have you, like you said like you've done CrossFit you know, yeah you yeah I guess so you could I try mean, little powerlifting moves uh, yeah I wrestling. guess wrestling yeah I, yeah I guess you're right yeah I, I don't feel like I have excelled in anything but arm wrestling but yeah I guess I'm I'm pretty athletic yeah. and like that I'm, I'm overall strong you know I'm strong in my legs I'm strong in it's not just my arm so yeah I guess that's true so that comes the next question uh, you know when you try different things we always come back to arm wrestling for us it's you know normal but why do you love arm wrestling what is the thing that you know it's it's the sport I just I think it's so cool. Like I, I, it's it's a. I saw a quote the other day. What was it? Um, arm wrestling is a feeling you can't describe. You know, it's 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 just a sensation. When you win, when you when the referee goes winner, it's like euphoric. Like I'm euphoric. It's if you know, you know. Yeah, exactly. You know, and exactly. that that's what is like. You just want to chase that feeling. You know, you want yeah. to you want to experience that again, and again, and again. Yeah. <laughs> winning in like winning in arm wrestling feels so cool. Yes. Even you know you win one, that one match in tournament, and you just you know, yeah. And you win that tournament. Yeah. You win the overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and just keeps rising. Yeah. And then you can catch it next time. Yeah. I think that's a lot of people need that. They cannot get that self validation that win. I think arm wrestling is the, one of the easiest sports where you can get the first win, but it's the, one of the hardest sports where you get the last win. Right. And also, I think the arm wrestling, like if you win, especially if you win in a certain way, like if you win on fouls and whatever, it sucks, you still won. 
But if you win in a way that you're proud of your performance, it's like a receipt, like, all right, what you did up to this point paid off. You yeah. did it right. Yeah. So it's like you get going to a store and you buy something, you get a receipt. It's like, all right, I, I, I have it now on paper. It, it worked. Yeah. Or it didn't work. You go back to the drawing board and yeah. you redo it. Yeah. yeah. So. Plus, uh, most of us are really young in the sport. We can do it for as twice as we are you know, old now. So I think that's cool as well. Uh, when you see the John Brzenk coming back, you know, I think he's been uh, the biggest motivator for almost any honors that are coming up in 2010s. Uh, do you have any comments about, like, how do you feel, you know, you, you watch it, you're like, I, I feel like good seeing John. I'm like, this is so yeah, cool. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. What other sport do you see something like this? You know, decades and decades and, you know, just winning and winning and then taking breaks, coming back in his 50s and just keep winning. You know, it's 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 extremely inspiring. And it gives hopes that if you love arm wrestling that much, you can actually pursue it for a long time. You know, so it's it's inspiring. Yeah, most, most sports in the highest level stop at 30, 33, mm -hmm. 35, strength sports. Mm -hmm. Arms so it's like like 40 it's like yeah, it's, yeah. yeah no you still got 20 years if you want to <laughs> you know travel the world and yeah look Ron Bad, uh Tadzilla mm -hmm. John and yeah. there's so many yeah it's not like Devin and Mike are and, and Chafee are young guys it's but, true yeah but they're also <clears throat> uh, Armstrong has always been you know the top guys stay at the top for quite some time and it's very hard to reach the top. Uh, we have big match, Dave and Alex. Uh, have you seen Alex's matches previously? Yeah. His rise? Yeah, he's up and coming superstar, you know, young, young in the sport, just very big guy. And like, I feel like if you're a big person, it's like, oh, but he's just big. But I feel like Alex is actually very skilled. He's hungry for arm wrestling. And I feel like this is a moment for him to, to prove himself, you know, because Dave has been in the game for so much longer. So, what Alex has done up to this point is very impressive. So, okay. Uh, <clears throat> do you have so female arm wrestling is still? I, I think it's 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 way back in male arm wrestling. It's big in some countries, not, but not big in all different countries. Uh, you're kind of telling us the story that you can be strong and beautiful, and you can really love what you're doing. Do you have any? Do you need more competition? Uh, I, yes. I mean, I'm so jealous of all the guys. You, they can get matches whenever they want, wherever they go. There's yeah. always like a challenge. And I mean, if I go somewhere and I win, like let's say easily, it's like it's almost like you don't want to take away from the girls entering the tournament. So sometimes I actually just let them have it, you know, because I want the, them to feel good. Because if you ca constantly get beaten down, you know, I mean, it's gonna chip away at you, you know? Yeah. So I, I want the women to feel like they do belong here, like keep pushing, you know? It's going to work. You just gotta stay consistent, you know, and keep training. And I feel like so many women are just scared to train to begin with. They don't want to, I want to say push like you, you got to push yourself when you think that you can't do anymore you gotta you know when you're uncomfortable when the days you don't want to train you still gotta go do it you know it's th those are the days that will pay off you know I'm I'm, I'm kind of weirded out because most of the girls have very competitive nature and I would think arm wrestling would suit them really good I don't know I, I think the um, <clears throat> body phobia that they had like Five ten years ago, where I'm gonna lift the dumbbell, I'm gonna get Levon size. Mm -hmm. I kind, I think that's kind of gone. Mm -hmm. But you can have like a, like you said, fun, plus those wins, mm -hmm. all those things. And like you said, you don't want to sometimes go to tournaments, take away from girls. Mm -hmm. I had the same conversation with Fia in Hardanger, and I asked her, "Will you compete?" And she said, "No, no, no, I will not compete. I don't want to take medals from girls." I said, "They need to know the benchmark." Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's cool to mm -hmm. not compete always, but if you have traveled from Sweden to mm -hmm. Norway, mm -hmm. why wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. And I think it's, it's, it's always cool to win, but it's always, it's, it's cool to see the end post. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And you never know too. I mean, 
there's always gonna be a first time for one of these girls, you know, that it's gonna be that wake up call, you know, and the moment where maybe a newcomer will beat, uh, I mean, it happened to me, you know, I, I started young and as a 15 year old, I, I became the senior, you know, a Swedish champion at the time, I, I beat somebody that had won years and years and years, and all I had to do was sh to show up that one time, you know, so, yeah, like, I, I think we're doing a good job, I think we're moving in the right direction for women in arm wrestling, um, but we're, yeah, we're definitely have ways to go for women to feel comfortable here, I think. Okay, we're gonna end this here, but I forgot one question, uh, so, you, you, I think in January and February you were posting a lot of things on your Facebook page, and then you kind of stopped. Was that strat? You just went into that match. You didn't want any distractions. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I would say that I, I take this extremely serious, and I just didn't have any desire to to post or get any comments. There's so much negativity online too. Like you get a lot of hate and offensive and I, I don't take anything to heart anymore you know but there are comments out there there are, people are mean you know people are mean yeah, yeah. people are so mean yeah. so if they don't want to see what I'm doing I'm not gonna give them anything you know but like I, I did it for myself I needed a break I needed to like you said put myself in the zone for this and just focus on me yeah I just wanted to check yeah um, best of luck to you thank today you. thank yeah. you yeah